sex and money and to run guns and drugs. Now girls also do the shootings. This is my homegirl, Blackie, Primera, Black East Side. The new members, often as young as 12, are the most violent. Kill, kill, kill. That's what we have in our mind, it's kill. Because when people hear girls, teenage girls, talk this way, they're shocked. How could you possibly shoot people? You're teenage girls. If they could shoot at us, no. we, we could, could shoot, shoot back. back. We got the power to do anything we can, we could do, so we do it. You either might go home alive or you might go Not to the hospital dead. One girl killed when armed females attempted a carjacking, only to find out their victim was an off-duty sheriff's deputy. These suspects are all female Hispanics. They're believed to be gang members. Ironic as it is, just as women are becoming more powerful in business and government, the same thing is happening in gangs. Here in Primera Flats, for the boys as well as the girls, the way to gain power and reputation is by violence. I knew some girls in gangs in East L.A. that the guys were afraid of. There are some, some warriors amongst the, uh, the female gang members, no doubt about it. While Sergeant McBride says that statistically girls account for only a small fraction of gang violence, he concedes that police don't always count the girls' role. Often females work as lures for their homeboys, reeling in unsuspecting rival males. You're in a car and there's a Get girl with you. Oh, girl. You there's know, the girls, girl. you know, come here, come here. You know, the girls have a gun, they're gonna shoot at them, right? They never suspect a girl. But they should. In October, second grader Arnolfo Contreras was killed while playing near a McDonald's. Sprayed by gunfire, female gangbangers aimed at rival males. He shot two times, and then and he hit my brother right here. The boy can't believe it was a girl who killed his brother. It's never ending, and it's a job where you're literally plugging your fingers in a dike. Parole officer Mary Ridgway says it's the environment, the guns, the drugs, the broken families that enslave the gangbangers. When you get these youngsters out of these environments, most of them, not everybody, but most, change considerably. One thing is different for girls. Often they get pregnant young and grow up fast. At 19, Morena envisions a future without her gang. You know, we all grow up sometimes. It's hard because my homies are like, damn, you know, Morena, you're not with the hood no more. I'm like, I'm with the hood as I'm growing up, you know. I know already that I gotta support myself. But the odds are against breaking the cycle of generations who think of gangs as their only future. Look. Diana Kariki, NBC News, East Los Angeles.